Alright, what's going on YouTube? This is Shane and Ryan back here. We are going to be bringing you some more Broforce as you can see. We are currently running from our, for our lives from a murder helicopter that we... Keep climbing, keep climbing, oh god. <laughs> um, and we're here to just ramble about more stuff as seems to be par for the course for this game. Because uh, not really... Seems fine. Not much goes on with this. It's just a lot of murder. Um, I mean, there's nothing we can... Oh. Oh, well, we're both, both dead. dead. There's right. nothing we could say about the game that you can't see from just... Oh, looking. grenades, I actually... Oh, God damn it! <laughs> you fucking asshole. I... So, <laughs> Ryan, you brought up a game to me today that you're interested in doing Let's Plays of, and we're gonna do, once we can afford the game, yeah. Bloodborne. Yes, Bloodborne. Very, very excited for this game. I have seen... One video of Bloodborne, so... <laughs> damn it, I'm fucking dead. To be fair, I had grenades. Wait, 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 wait. You've seen one video of Bloodborne, and you're in... I mean, I guess that that's, that's good things for Bloodborne, that you yes. can see one video and go, Yep, I want to play this, I, I want it all in my face right now. Yes, and you know how infrequently I get excited about games. Uh, last game I got super excited for, like really, really excited, was Monster Hunter. I put like 150 hours into that. And Skyrim before that, and I put, God, we don't even want to talk about how many hours I put into that. I didn't see him for three weeks. Yeah, I, I really didn't leave my house. Um, but yeah, Bloodborne, I've seen one video of it, it was just like the intro level, so I know next fucking really... I know next... Put it down, quick! Get in, get in! I'm up on top! Whew. I've seen one gameplay footage, it was just the intro level, and it was really, really cool. Um, it is, uh... It's not a Souls game itself, it is made by the same people, um, so I expect good things. I haven't actually played Souls games, I've watched... They're, they're hard as fuck. Yeah, I've watched a lot of Let's Plays of them, and they do look hard as shit. Um, definitely a game that I'm interested in playing, I just never managed to get around to picking them up. Um, and it, it really does fit what I like to play with a game. Like I said, I really enjoy Monster Hunter, it's a really, really solid game. Because, why are we so bad at this fucking game? Because we're trying to talk over it. And... Uh, but, yeah, like, last, um, Monster Hunter, it's not intrinsically easy. The game is actually pretty hard, and I kind of expect the same thing from Bloodborne. From what I saw, it's not really, like, your classic Western RPG, where it's kind of like, hey, stand in front of enemy and murder their face. It's more of like a, hey, be skillful about your approach here, and I might get... Uh, no, good. Be skillful about your approach here, and take your time. Now, from what I understand, this game is much more aggressive than the Souls games. I was watching, uh, I would watch gameplay footage of Souls games, and it'd be like, sidestep, poke, sidestep, poke, sidestep, poke, or just hit the dog in the butt, like, um... You know, just hit the dog in the butt until he dies. Hit the dog in the butt till he dies. Well, All right, that there's, um... Good description. <laughs> there's one boss that's like a giant wolf, and I think that was the strategy to beat him, which is like, sidestep and hit him in the ass until he's dead. You should probably jump on that. Yeah. Hey, you're back. And now we have to use these things, remember, to, to murder the helicopter. I don't know where I am. I'm We're dead. We're both dead. Yeah. This part is because like, well, I had the shittiest character for this part ever. Oh. Wow, this is not much better. <laughs> you, you you spoke too fucking soon. Um, Who built it? Hang on. Who built this skyscraper? It's literally a ba a bridge over nothing. It's seems fine. Oh yeah, seems fine. Yeah. Just hey, we just keep going. Just keep going. All right, I will. Um. So yeah, as I was saying, it's not like an easy game and to where it doesn't seem like everything is handed to you immediately. As I said, this one uh, had, does sound a bit easier than other Souls games. Um, more new player friendly. Kind of what Monster Hunter did with the most recent installment with Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. Um, they made it just like, hey, we're going to actually tell you how to play the game um, instead of kind of just being like, ha, asshole, figure it out yourself. Um... Focus Wait. on focus on playing too, dude. Like yeah. you're you're over here like I'm gonna do all the hand motions and all of this. It's like no no no. Don't don't use your words. Words are hard right now. There's a lot of shit going on on my screen. Um, yeah, you gotta continue on. Um, that's fine. So 
Oh fuck, where did I where did I leave off? Oh. We really you, suck. You were talking about Monster Hunter. Talking about yeah, Monster oh, yeah, Hunter and yeah, how they, it they, relates they, into a Souls game. They they made this game a bit easier than previous ones like they did with Monster Hunter 4. Just new player friendliness. Which I definitely agree with. Like keep some of what makes a series a series, you know, it's People expect to play a Souls game and have a challenge. Um, but, you know, I'm really excited to play it. We just found out we have the capabilities of recording PS4 games, capturing PS4 games, so we're definitely going to be doing that now once we just can scrounge up the funds. Both being college kids, sometimes that's a little uh, difficult. Being, but, you know. Being college kids and having to pay for the... Uh, Big addition of Mortal Kombat on my end is yeah. going to make the 40 Bloodborne a little harder than I would like. Yeah. So, but that kind of goes into that. We're going to be doing Let's Plays in that. If you want to see any other Let's Plays of PS4 games, definitely let us know. If you want to see Let's Plays of anything, let us know. I mean, well, we're, we're pretty much open to do... Pretty much whatever, yeah. Yeah, just for the love of God. I don't ever want to have to play Catherine again. Catherine, what the hell's that? You never played Catherine? No. Oh, dude, Catherine was a re uh, do you know the Persona oh, games? Fucker. Uh, no, never played. Yeah, oh, I never played them either, but it's made by the same developers. It's a very, very weird puzzle platformer. Uh, I, I don't even want to get into the story because it's so... Convoluted? Not even, convoluted is the wrong word. It's just weird. It's, it's flat out weird. Alright. But... That brings us, I mean... Well, not really, but it's time. <laughs> Segway! I, I, I do have a... So, Evolve came out recently. Yes, and the game looks like a lot of fun. The game does look fun. I, I'll be honest, it looks really fun. I really do want to try it. And I know a big thing, I, I didn't want to pay... Support a game that has a shitload of DLC on the first day, but I've been informed by some friends that the DLC isn't... Um, as bad as I thought it was. Like, it's and not what I thought it was. Did you get a season pass, and it, like... Well, season pass just gets you the monsters and other hunters and stuff, and... what I, I mean, I, that's what I thought. They had, like, $100 worth of, like, that kind of DLC day one. Right I guess that's not the case. Which is good. That would be really I'm fucking dead. shitty. I'm dead, so you're gonna model. just have to... Well, I mean... I would say this is EA, but it's not EA. Well, it is... No, it's not EA. But... This brings up another another really good point. So Evolve is mainly a multiplayer game. Hey, did we actually beat this asshole? Yes, we did. We finally Thank killed God. it. God. <laughs> Evolve is mainly a multiplayer game. Yeah. Like, there's bots, but they don't. it doesn't add anything to it. Yeah. It's, it's just the same game with really, bots. It's like yeah. what Brink did. And Brink was awful. I never played Brink. Don't. Like, be thankful you <laughs> never went through that atrocity that was Brink. Okay. Um, but it, it reminded me of a recent game, uh, I'm sure all of you guys know Titanfall, which was another, like, hey, we are an only multiplayer online shooter, blah de blah, blah hey, look at our... Oh, uh, you're right on a mine. I see that I'm right on a mine. I'm still right on a mine. There's another all online shooter, and honestly, I, I played it, I enjoyed it. I, I thoroughly enjoyed the game. From a gameplay standpoint. Yeah, the gameplay was solid. It was super fun. They did part. They did like this awesome parkour system. Problem was, I played it for a week and then was like, "Oh, what else? What do I do now? Like, there's no story. Well, there is a story, but the story's going on in the background behind me playing this multiplayer game. And honestly, I don't give a shit about the story when I'm supposed to be killing human people." Words in a game. Have never been spoken. Well, that kind of makes me sound like a psychopath, but eh, you know, whatever. They'll learn. <laughs> <laughs> they'll learn about you, Shane. But Shane is really good at clearing out areas really quickly. So is the bride, actually. Hey, I have Machine Gun Kelly again. Uh, actually, that is a band. That's a person. I thought it's a band. Well, I mean, it might be a band, but he was originally a gangster, dude. He was like one of John Dillinger's. It might be. There might be a band named after that. Well, I, I'm I sure I remember was. somebody seeing somebody but going to one. Back to evolving Titanfall. We're the good one, at this whole thing. The on one top. thing 
thing that bothers me the most about both of these games, I mean, even Battlefield, I'm a huge Battlefield fan, love the games, they're so much fun, haven't played the newest one, don't have much, I mean, I might get it eventually, but honestly, I can't really say I have much interest in Battlefield Hardline. Yeah, didn't you say it was basically cops and robbers? No, that's what it is. It's cops and robbers, but in Battlefield. Uh, oh, and what is the burrowing? It, it's a drill. It's a burrowing drill. Just, there Do we it. go. We don't even <laughs> have to deal with it. Uh, let's kill the murder bot. Yeah! Yeah, I'll, I died. I'm gonna get in the murder bot. That's fine. Time for murder town, people. Can you save me? I gotta get out to do that. Go. Uh, ooh, the CPU's getting a little bit toasty here. That's probably not good. Ah, it's probably fine. Oh, I'm gonna ride this thing, apparently. Where am I? Dead. So, Evolve and Titanfall. Both look like really fun games. Honestly, if you base your entire game around multiplayer, the problem you're gonna run into is the fact that once people have done all they want to do with the multiplayer, where is there to go from there for them? Yeah. And that was a big thing I... Oop, I died. That was a big thing I ran into with Titanfall. Was, oh, I don't even really want to play anymore because I've... I have no interest in continuing. There's nothing to draw you in. Yeah. Like, I'll go back and play it. Like, oh, hey, I'll play a quick match of Titanfall for, like, the next... I have 10, 20 minutes to spare. Yeah, quick match but it's nothing that you, like, go and sit down and play for extended periods of time. Exactly. Uh, that, that's a big issue I have with Titanfall. Or any game that marks itself as, Hey, we're we're online. Because we want to be. Yeah. Because that's what people want. A it's, weird I'm, number of games seem to be taking that turn lately. I, I don't like it. Yeah, it, like, it's... What happened to games that had a good... Ch I mean, like you were saying with Bloodborne. A game with a good, challenging single player that engages you in it is much more appealing... Did you just kill the drill with the fucking memory eraser? Yep, because I, I don't it, even... it's a murder laser in this game. Apparently. It doesn't take your memories, it just murders you. <laughs> which I guess is the same thing, because you're not remembering anything. Yeah. It brings you freedom. <laughs> freedom! Broforce, the epitome of freedom. Pretty much. <laughs> Broforce is brought to you by Freedom and Kellogg's. In America. Freedom in America, because we all know America is the only place that has freedom. Uh, I don't know if I can say that. Can I? Uh, well, I already did. Someone's probably gonna throw in a link from the best, fu uh, the best 15 minutes of television. You ever seen <laughs> that scene? Yeah, I've seen it. I love that scene so oh, much. Uh, what? He thinks you're an enemy. Oh. No, he doesn't. Well, yeah, he did actually. I love that. I actually love that scene in uh. Then. Yeah, what? Well, I have no idea what that's from. But right, it's it, it's awesome. It's fun. To, it was a good scene, and it was true. That that's the thing. I'm fucking Keanu Reeves. I just punched that drill out. Well, that's. I mean, good good for you. You should feel punch happy. Punch these puppies. I'm gonna come get you. Uh, and nope, you're gonna die because well, there's a barrel behind. Do that. All right. Alright, one more time for this video, and if we don't get it, then we don't get it. Yeah. So, uh, what the hell were we even talking Oh yeah, multiplayer games that are games that only have multiplayer. Tight, like how you don't like Titanfall. Alright, it's not a f good game, in your opinion. That's a good, I mean, it's well designed, at least. The actual gameplay elements, I just don't think it has any stain power, and it definitely... I paid the full 60 bucks for it. It's definitely not worth that. No. It it's worth like forty. Forty. Yeah. Let's let's just go with forty, because I understand that game development is a very expensive thing, and you have to make money. Yeah. And that's the other thing. Game developers, if you're listening, stop caring so much about graphics. Oh yeah. There. I don't think. Truthfully, I don't think they're going to be listening. Oh much. God, no. I can put in my little, please God, stop what you're doing, play, can't I? Alright, so, murder the drill. Just, just keep going. Alright, so, yeah. Climb. Climb. No, so, is there any other games that have done that in recent memory? None that I can think of, but, like I said, uh, as you will find out, I'm not... 
Jesus Christ. Alright. So... Like, there, there's no other games that have really gone the full realm of multiplayer only. I mean, obviously, Call of Duty focuses a lot on its multiplayer. I thought Advanced Warfare had a really good storyline behind Advanced it. Advanced Warfare Zombies is hard as shit, but it's super fucking fun. Also, Rose McGowan and Bill Paxton. And John Malkovich. Yeah. I mean, like... The, and Shane from The Walking Dead. I yeah, don't remember the, his name. the zombies are super fun. You can upgrade your gun like twenty times. Oh, it's it's awesome. It's no, all, I, yeah, I love and it. the exosuits for that game were super well designed. They added an entirely new form of combat. Yeah. Anyways, guys, we are running on about fifteen minutes here, so we are gonna wrap this up. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Halfwit Gaming. And you guys have yourselves a great night. And we will see you later.